Hello friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Mandy and I like to talk about makeup and makeup panning. Today I have an update for the Enjoy Your Eyeshadow Project or Eyes 2023. So stay tuned. This is the Enjoy Your Eyeshadow Project update. This is a project that was created by Deb B here on YouTube and she will be linked in the description box. It is a small group collab with um, where you use your eyeshadows any way you want, um, inspired by several different panning eyeshadow projects. All the information will be linked in the description as well as the other participants. And if you are participating and you're not there and you want to know, or you're not participating and you want to know more, check out Deb's video. Um, so yeah, I am kind of having a hard time with this right now. Um, I'm late with this update because over the last week I have been not feeling well and I'm not 100% today but I'm I'm okay um, yesterday I had a migraine and today I'm better but um, it, it, it feels like it might flare back up so I'm just trying to take it easy um, anyway uh, over the last month I was focusing on just two eyeshadow palettes to get more use out of them and to tell you the truth I didn't really get that much use um, I did wear makeup more frequently, but I was focusing on lots of things. And a lot of them are project pan items. So the two pro uh, palettes I was working on are the iHeart Revolution Mermaid, Mermaid's Heart palette. This is what it looks like. It's a beautiful blue, green, and gold palette. Um, I did put this up here and I was uh, tallying them. I used the first shade one time the fifth shade one time, um, this gold shade once, and this dark green once that I tallied. And I think that's the only look I used. I used a random number generator to um, pull these shades. I, hopefully, you, you probably didn't see any of that, but I'll go over it again in just a second. Um, I used a no random number generator to pick four numbers for a look, and I got one, five, 10 and 12. I used those in a look and I think I recorded with that look but I don't remember. Um, but otherwise the rest of this palette didn't get touched for a whole month even though it was my focus palette um, and I'm not wearing it today. And then the second palette I brought in was my Aether Beauty Moonlight Crystal palette. And this one I did have a little bit more luck. I did two looks using this palette. And this is what it look, looks like. Um, I used most of the shades at least once. So I used these four all once. I used these three once. I used this green three times because it was in a project. Um, I used this dark teal twice. And this dark purple three times. The only two shades that didn't get used are this dark gray and whatever dark color this is. I can't tell if it's a black or a purple. And I'm not really concerned about it right now. Like I said, I'm not 100%. Um, so yeah, I got two looks out of this palette. One look out of this. My goal has been trying to use each palette, no pan left behind. Um you know, creating a couple looks from that. But that is not working out for me. I find uh, I am not wearing makeup frequently enough, although I'm trying to wear it more often, but ha having a week of not wearing makeup um, hasn't helped. Um, so going forward, what I'm going to do is something similar to what Deb is doing, I believe, um, where I am going to basically any eye look I do, I'm going to document what I 
used and take a picture. I'll take a picture of the look and what I used in that look. And then when we come back next month, I will show you sort of my lookbook and talk about the shadows I used in those looks because I did use other shadows over the last month. Um, I used my Pan That palette and I may have used the palette I'm wearing right now, which is my Alva. And I think I used some of my De Natasha Denona palettes, uh, single shade, shade shadows. Um, yeah. So I think that way it'll get a better idea. I want to focus on using some of the eyeshadows I have in projects because I find I have a lot of eyeshadows in projects and this way I can tell you about them and show you the looks I make with them. Um, yeah, so you can see what I've been using over the last month, basically. Um, so sort of like today, I am wearing the Alva palette. And then in today's look, I started my base with Lotus in the transition uh, and crease. And then I darkened up the crease with Camellia. That's this one here. And then on the inner uh, half of my lid, I put down a uh, Dahlia. And the outer half, I have uh, Cherry Blossom. On top of a glitter glue, I have cherry blossom along my lower lash line. And then for a brow bone and inner corner, I'm using the um, inner corner shade from my Pan That palette. That is what I have in my look today. So yeah, that's what is going to be going forward um, and what it'll look like. I will try and post a picture of the close-up look of this eye look. Um, otherwise, maybe I'll have it for next month. Um, yeah, so sorry for the late update. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to me, go ahead and do so. It really means a lot to me. And sorry, I don't have all the energy I normally do. But, you know, that's life. So until my next video, take care of yourselves. I'm going to take care of myself and stay true to you. Bye.